Hey guys, this is Daniel from fitnessbunner.com and today I'm going to be taking you through a strength training routine focusing on the chest and upper back. So this one I'm using a set of dumbbells for. I also have a bench here. If you don't have dumbbells, it's going to be a little bit hard to do this routine. You want to have a really nice selection of them, so that's going to be kind of a necessity. The bench, on the other hand, that can be completely modified out. So you can actually use either a chair, a coffee table, or even flat on the ground if you want to. So you don't have to really worry too much about that. Um, so grab your dumbbells. We're going to be going through 10 repetitions for each one of these exercises, and we're going to be doing each exercise for two sets, going back and forth between two different exercises in a group. So if you want to focus on more strength training uh, or mass building that is, then you're going to want to make sure you use a really, really nice heavy weight that you're really having uh, trouble finishing off that last set on that, or that, those last few repetitions on that last set. If you're just, just going for a little bit of strength, then you don't want to be quite that tired out. So use something a little bit lighter. On the other hand, if you want to actually use this for just straight toning, you want to go through it twice. So just repeat the same video over again and use something really nice and light. So it can actually be used for all three. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. If you haven't done a warm up yet, go ahead and get a warm up in real quick and we'll start here in just a second. All right, so we're gonna be going through three different exercises for each muscle group. So three different exercises for chest and three different exercises for that upper back. So our first two exercises, we're gonna be doing these back to back is going to be an incline chest press and then we're gonna switch that out with a decline kneeling row. So this might be something you're not familiar with if you've done strength training before. Uh, it's a little bit of a, a unique exercise. So starting off with an incline chest press, you're gonna to wanna to bring that bench up. If you don't have an adjustable bench, you can do this in a chair, just kind of scoot your butt out to the edge of the chair and lean back a little bit. It'll give you the kind of the similar, similar effect. So you grab your weights, we're doing 10 repetitions. Get those elbows out nice and wide. Keep that back flat against that mat. Exhale as you press it up. Inhale as you slowly come back down. And then nice and slow, press it right back up. You want to try to get a nice full range of motion on this. Make sure you get those arms down nice and low. So if you're using a weight that's too heavy to let those arms drop down to chest level, then you need to drop it, go nice and light to work on range of motion first. Then you can always increase weight from there. Now I'm actually using a relatively light weight here. I'm only using 30 pounds per hand. And that way I can make sure that I can get through this with nice clean form and not overtire my muscles for the next few exercises. Just keep it going, just a few more repetitions to go. Two left. And one more. And let it relax. All right, go ahead and set that weight up. We're gonna switch off that row. Drop that uh, bench back down flat. We're gonna go with something a little bit lighter. We're doing one side at a time. So with this one, this is a decline kneeling row. So normal kneeling row is done off of knee and hand. This is going to be done off of knee and shoulder, or knee and elbow. So you want to try to get that chest kind of tilting down towards the ground. So it's just nice and slow, up and out to the side. This is just going to hit a little bit different part of that upper back. A nice, slow, controlled motion. Try to keep those hips up there nice and high. You're going to have a tendency to want to pull your elbow back beside your rib cage when you're doing this one. Try to keep that elbow out nice and wide. We're trying to mimic the exercise we just did. So to do that, you have to keep that elbow out wide. Just a few more to go. Also make sure those shoulders stay nice and parallel to the ground. And that's our last one on that side. We're gonna switch sides. Again, down on that elbow. Arm out to the side, nice slow pull. Really kick that elbow out nice and wide. Again, try to keep those shoulders parallel to the ground. You don't want to open up that chest to the wall. Always keep it facing straight down towards the ground. Keep checking that elbow, make sure it's staying out nice and wide. 
Gonna tight squeeze the top of that range of motion. Always do these motions, especially if you're focusing on strength. Do them nice and slow. Otherwise, you're gonna start losing ranges of motion as far as that strength goes. And that's your last one right there. Gonna drop that weight back up. Select our weight for our chest press. Set our bench back up. And start right back in. Nice slow press straight up above your chest. Elbows out nice and wide. Hand as low as you can control without letting that forearm tip out sideways. So if you're going low enough, your forearm starts pointing away from you, then you're going too low. You need to restrict that range of motion just a little bit. You want that forearm pointing straight up and down the entire time so that bicep and the tricep are just barely working to keep that arm moving or keep that forearm straight up and down. If you're feeling too much tension in your bicep, then your arms are a little bit too wide or your hands are a little bit too wide. If you're feeling too much tension in your tricep, the back of your arm, then your hands are too close together. You want to, again, try to keep that forearm straight up and down. Just two more to go. And here's our last one. And let it relax. All right. Switch it back again. Drop that bench down. Down the elbow. And start up. Keep those lungs open the entire time. Never hold your breath. As best you can, keep that head in a neutral position so you're not like arching your head up. You're not tucking it down. And let that relax. Let's switch sides. Same thing on the other side. Nice flat back. Tilting down towards the ground just a smidge. Elbow up and out to the side. Remember, focus on that range of motion. It's not necessarily how much you can lift, but it's how much you can lift with a full range of motion. Two more. And let that relax. All right, set this weight back up. We're gonna be moving on to our next two exercises, which is gonna be another chest and back exercise. Like I said before, it's going to be a flat chest press this time. So similar to what we just did, we're just laying out flat, and then we're gonna switch that off with a kneeling row. So almost identical to what we just did, not on your elbow, but on your full, fully extended arm. So chest press first. Uh, chest press is usually a little bit stronger position than an incline press. You, you might want to increase the weight on this one, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up just a bit. All right, so now I'm up to 40 in each hand for this one. Lay flat on your back. Again, elbows out nice and wide, drop them out, and press it right back up. Nice, slow, controlled motion. Again, you're trying to get your hand down as low as you comfortably can without letting that forearm kick out to the sides. Keep those lungs open, keep that back flat against that mat. As you get more and more tired, you have a tendency to lift that lower back up and kind of arch your chest up towards the ceiling or towards the wall behind you. Keep that back flat. A 
One more. And let that relax. Set that weight up. And I'm going to switch to that row. So I'm dropping out of 30 pounds for this one. Significantly higher than what I did for the first row. Um, just again, watch that form. Make sure you can keep that elbow up nice and high. So you go to a full extended arm this, on this one this time. Same motion, up and out to the side. Breathing with this one is primarily the main focus is just to keep your lungs open the entire time. But if you need a specific breathing count, it's going to be exhale as you exert force. So as you pull up, inhale as you drop. Two more. And let it relax and switch sides. And start again. Especially if you're using a lot of weight, really check yourself constantly to make sure that you're not holding your breath. So your body's going to try to hold your breath to make your core go rigid to give you a little extra help, but it really doesn't actually help that much unless you're doing like serious power lifting. One more. And let it relax. All right. Switching back to the weight for our chest press. And as you can see, there's very little rest in between these. And that's because we're switching back and forth between muscle groups. You can get away with not having to rest. All right, start that chest press up. Keep that back on that mat. Two more. And let that one relax. Whew. All right, one more. That row. In that tripod position, nice flat back, pull that arm up and out to the side. Two more. Last one. Let's switch sides. Nice flat back. And start it. Now as you do this, as those arms start getting tired, you're going to have a tendency to start trying to use other part of your body that don't necessarily need to be used. Like you have a tendency to kind of lift with your shoulder. When you're doing this, at the top of that range of motion, feel like you're trying to shove your shoulder down towards your hand rather than pulling it up away. And that way, you'll force your body to go into a more full range of motion and have to work a lot harder. Almost done.
right, set this weight up. All right, just two more exercises to go. Now these two are a little bit more of the easier two versions, or the easier two exercises of this routine. So why I've saved them for the last. We've got a decline bench, which most people are the strongest at. It's just another part of that chest. And we've got an incline row, and that's gonna be uh, able to use a little bit of your shoulder more to get that motion going, rather than just your back. So again, it makes it a little bit easier. So again, if you want to, you can increase weight. I'm getting a little bit tired, so I'm gonna stay right where I am as far as my chest press goes. So since I don't have a decline bench, same weight here. Like I was saying, since I don't have a decline bench, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring my hips up to make a decline through my chest by just putting my feet up on the bench. So it's going to look like this. Chest up, get those hands up, bring those feet up, shove those hips up nice and high, and start in. Just works a little bit lower part of your chest. And last one. Set those dumbbells up. Start with 30 on this one, just to see what it feels like. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna stay standing, tip over to about a 45 degree angle, and do your row from there. We're actually gonna be using both hands at the same time. So nice, slow, high row, elbows up and out to the side. You can already tell, my range is suffering just a little bit on this one. I feel like I'm having to jerk that weight up a little bit too high, so I'm gonna drop the weight on the next set. Keep that back flat. Don't let that back round on you ever. Whenever you're in a tilted forward position, always keep that back flat if you're lifting weight. Last one. Oh, all right, set that one back up. Go back to that chest press weight. Back to 40 pounds for this one. Lay back, this is our last set of this exercise. Those hips up and start it. Keep those lungs open. Hips up. muscles are starting to give out on me, which is exactly what you should be doing if you're trying to go for size. <sighs> Two more. <sighs> One left. <sighs> Let it down nice and slow for that negative. Actually, up to 20 for this last set of these rows, these high rows. All right, this is our last exercise. Remember, 45 degree angle forward with that chest, keep that back nice and flat, and row. Elbows up nice and wide. Again, is exactly where I want to be on this last couple of repetitions. 
and let it relax. Whew. So if you're really going for size, those last couple of repetitions should have been pretty much impossible to the point where you might even have to stop, let yourself rest for a little bit, a few seconds, like 10, 20 seconds, and then finish up all those last few repetitions. So as you can see, I finished those repetitions up pretty easily on those last few. I was struggling a bit, but it was, my form was still pretty good. So next time I came back to do this routine, I'd want to use more weight if I'm trying to go for more size. So just keep that in mind for what your goals are. All right, this workout is complete. You get a stretch and cool down in and you're done. Thanks for watching.